relators, I think at the core of it is the capability of building close, authentic, and sustainable relationships that foster trust. And I guess I say this, I can say this because relator is one of my signature themes as well. We're kind of slow sometimes, and maybe maybe it depends what other themes you have, but it takes us some time to do that. It's obviously it's a part of the relationship building domain when we think about the domains of leadership. Some words that I think are often used to kind of uh, kind of explain and illustrate uh, this relator th theme. Words like friend might be an important one. People who uh, have friendships and can make friendships and can make lasting friendships. Confidant. I think trusted advisor is a word that I would kind of give to people who've really learned how to leverage um, relator at a at a very sophisticated level. Family member, colleague, companion, partner, teammate. Someone wanted to talk about teaming. I think Relators can be people who really enjoy being a part of a team, especially when they get to kind of interact and work with other people to get something done. Maybe some adjectives that might kind of uh, illustrate relator a bit. Informal versus formal. I don't know if Dr. Brim prefers to be called Brian or doctor, but uh, many times relators prefer, prefer more f informal approaches. Personal might be a way. Personal. Mutual. They really like mutual relationships. I want to get to know you and I want you to get to know me. It's about both knowing and being known. Transparent. Sometimes, uh, especially with their, their friends, uh, people who are relators can be quite open and transparent. One-on-one, -on -one, I think, is a key part of being a relator. They are often at their best when they have opportunities for one-on-one -on -one interactions with people. It's, it's some of what they do best. Sometimes I think we use the words <clears throat> intimate. They can get close to people and they may be perceived as caring. Um, and again, I use the word slower. Maybe slower is better than slow. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, a, it's a social instinct that takes a bit more time. It's, it's kind of like when a person with a relator goes to a party, they're thinking, boy, there's somebody here I know. I really don't want to spend a, time, a lot of time getting to know somebody I might never meet again. They think about, I think, the longer term of relationships. So, so they can also be a bit selective. Um, I think the, uh, the basement of of relator is that uh, sometimes um, a person can be close to other people but that closeness can become closed could become kind of clickish maybe showing favoritism to the people that they're close to or it could also be someone that that could be initially hard to get to know because uh, they they might might not have this kind of stuff that Wu has Wu is really about social initiation and social courage, the beginning of relationships. I think, I think uh, relators are really good at taking relationships to a, a deeper and a, and a longer level. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, the themes that are often, the theme that is most often paired with relator in, in, in our data is responsibility. Uh, typically, when, when a person's got relator, you might often find that ha they have responsibility pretty high on their profile as well. The themes that are least likely paired with relator, this doesn't mean it's impossible, are woo and command. And so that, that makes some sense. It will, it'll be interesting to find out if Brian has uh, uh, kind of fits that pattern or if he kind of is, is unique. Um, I think sometimes it's good to think about these themes within the context of a role. And I've done some kind of writing about uh, uh, thinking about uh, these themes within the context of being a parent. And so I, I, I wrote this item here for how, how a parent might use relator. And so it is schedule regular one-on-one -on -one time with each of your children. Your undivided attention will deepen your relationship. And, and I've heard of people who've done that. They've had kind of like dates with their kids individually. Maybe you've got two or three kids and you, you give them some kind of undivided attention. That's, that's good for them, but it really enables you to do, as a parent, one of the things that you do best is kind of build that deep, deep connection.